Hey guys, App Orchard Thief here, and we're back on our survival Let's Play world, and today we are going to build the actual Iron Golem farm. As you can see, the Iron Golem head I built is finished now. Um, it was kind of expensive, lots of clay for the head, um, and those eyes are made out of coal blocks, so it looks pretty cool. Um, but it is done now, so let's go ahead and actually build the farm inside of it. Um, so we can just head up this way. I'll probably make a path over here sometime soon. And then eventually I'm going to build like the body that's going into the mountain just on top of here. So it looks like it's not just a floating head. Um, I have a little entrance up here as of right now. Um, I think it's probably uh it's probably temporary for the entrance here i could probably make one like into the body when that's finished but uh, let's eat real quick some mutton yum and this is the inside i basically put a bunch of torches down everywhere um and yeah you can see his face there uh today i'm gonna actually build the farm and here are the materials i think i got everything i need um, except the villagers are in the sheep farm thing, so I'll have to transport them here, but after that's done, it should be working. So, basically, we have to build a 16x16 16 16 platform inside here, um, so let's center it. Uh, the center is right here, um, so I'm just going to bring this out here and find the center on this side as well. Um, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So break uh, 10 on my own camera. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So those two are the middle. And we can find the actual middle now. Let's see. Okay, so that's the corner of the middle. So that's basically the middle of the room right where I put those four blocks. So now we can build it in the center so we can make sure we have enough room all around it. I think we should. Um, hopefully. So, basically, um, I'm just going to break a hole here so I know where it is. So I'm going to build up maybe eight. Uh, blocks, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I will build it. Well, let's just go one more to be safe, and then we'll build on top of that. So, right here. So this is the center right here, um, and it's going to be 16 by 16, so let's go ahead and expand. Um, so... I'll go, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight this way on this half, and then let's do this half. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we basically just have to make this platform now. Um, and this way. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight, and this one right here. Two, three. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Enjoy my counting. I hope you do. Um, so now I'm just gonna fill this in, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. Um, the platform is done. I had to go out this way one more because apparently I miscounted, but. Here we are. Um, now we have to take some blocks, go out to the corner, and build walls up because we need a 16 by 16 inside, so we have to build the walls out one more. So I'm glad I made the iron golem head as big as I did, so there will be enough room, hopefully. Um, so now we just gotta build too high all the way around. Uh, like so. I'm just using diorite because I had a lot of it 
and uh, you're not really going to be able to see it so it doesn't matter what it looks like because we have this head around it which is pretty nice um, yeah so I don't oh geez okay whoops I don't think this iron golem farm is going to be super like uh, uh, like really good I mean it's probably going to be get us enough iron for what we do but I mean it's not like the best out there because it's pretty easy to build so that comes with the price that it won't be that good and efficient um, so we can just keep building around and then once we get it too high all the way around uh, we're gonna put some doors down uh, 10 on each uh, wall and I'm gonna have to get some more diorite after uh, this next step so basically uh, we make this L shape um, so it's three and then the corner and then three and then you make that too high and then we place ten doors two three four five six seven eight nine ten and that should leave space for the four block well three blocks and on the corner and then you just do that all the way around um, on each side and once that is completed you can uh, go ahead to the next step but we are not there yet you don't need these corners but I'm just putting them in because I want it to be square um, and I'm gonna have to make an infinite water source because I don't have like, tons of buckets uh, for the water system to push the iron golems out um, yeah, I am out of diorite. I was one block short of this step. So let's just place these doors real quick. And then I'll cut and get some more blocks. Because I'm going to need a lot more still. Because I need to make another platform and then a little bit more wall. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys, I got a bunch more diorite here. Um, I mined a little bit and got some from the base. Um, basically... Uh, what you have to do now is make another layer above all the doors and corners out of blocks. Does not matter what kind. Um, I'm just using this once again. Um, and also you're going to want to make a hole in the middle. Uh, a 2 by 2 hole. And then we are going to put signs in that in just a moment so that the water will not uh, fall through just a heads up um, on what we are going to do in a moment um, hopefully mobs other mobs don't spawn in it I guess I could have put torches in I'm not sure if other mobs spawn in water or not but I don't think they do um, I have this little staircase here so I brought some signs with me um, just put four in here like so and the next step is uh, gonna be to put blocks along the top layer of the doors basically um, like this I may not have enough diorite for this um, so I'm gonna be right back once I finish putting uh, this platform down okay guys um, I have finished this platform, I had to get more diorite again, and I have extra this time, and I made a hole in the center, lined up with this one, and put some signs down. And I made an infinite water source right here, um, and the next step is to put glass around this top layer, um, because uh, we don't want mobs spawning on it, and I don't think they spawn on glass, so we can just put glass down for this layer instead. Um, and we don't need to like cap off the spawner, so this is the top layer. Um, and there's not going to be any blocks higher than this, I don't think so. Um, so, we are almost done. Uh, now we just have to uh, basically put the water down 
and then we can do some customizations to it. Um, so let's get some blocks out and get some water out like this. Um, I'm going to start with uh, down here first. Uh, so basically you want to put these corner things in like that and then um, let's see. Then you want to line the wall uh, with water buckets. I'm just going to go like this. And basically, you can just take them back from these ones because these create source blocks. So it's basically infinite down here. Uh, and then create a corner and continue the pattern. So I'm going to be right back after I do this on this floor and the next one because you do the exact same thing for the top one as well okay guys I'm back I did the bottom floor and this floor is gonna be finished right now and I forgot to mention what you do with the corner pieces uh, you have this little L shape you basically this put water in the corner one and then you break the blocks so it creates a water pattern that flows to the middle any block that it spawns on so yeah um, it is basically done now except for the villager compartment uh, which I don't really have much space for um, I guess I have space for it on these sides so um, in this side of space so I'm probably gonna build the villager compartment over here somewhere uh, so let's jump down real quick like this um, I want to build it over here somewhere uh, probably towards the middle will be better I want to create uh, maybe a 2 by 4 area 1 2 3 4 let's see 1 2 3 4 so this will be where they stand right here on these blocks um, I'm just gonna make the rest out of glass so you can see them oh, I didn't need to make those blocks glass but whatever we'll just put glass there too um, whoops. so I'm just gonna surround this in glass completely until we can get some vi whoops, villagers in here uh, let's see I'm gonna probably use rails to get them in from the top probably come in through this wall and drop them in here uh, so and they can't get through here well actually they can I guess but they're not gonna go anywhere so that's fine um, get out of here it's basically done I just have to put the villagers in so once I do that I will be right back it's gonna be a long hard process hey guys I'm back and we got 10 villagers um, that took forever uh, I have a rail going up the outside of here and coming in right here but I closed it off now and we have 10 um, and I moved this down one because they started going in there so I didn't want them to like fall out or something so they're trapped in here now um, and it's pretty much done then. Uh, all I have to do now is the killing mechanism. So uh, let's hop on down here. Uh, we can break this path now because we really don't need to come back up here to this level. Um, now we can go down here. And that's what it looks like from below. Um, oh, there's an iron golem. It works. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what his head looks like. So I try to make the thing look like him. Whoa! I usually don't make these hungry. I mean survival. That scared me. Huh! Fight! He launches you so high. And does a lot of damage. Yay, we got our first four. Um, yeah, great. So it's working. So now, we have to make kind of a drop shoot. Uh, to kill him. Um, and I guess we can just have it down right here. Oh, I made so many extra hoppers. I only needed four. Wow. 
Well, we have extra then <laughs> for our next machine. I'll probably need them pretty soon anyways, so. Um, we'll just put some hoppers into there. They'll fall down here. Um, oops. Uh, to where we will have lava. I think you can open chests with glass over them. Yep. Um, so, let's see here. Let's just make that, whoops, I don't have any more glass, but, um, basically they're gonna fall in here, and we're gonna have some signs, like so, and then lava on top of those, um, in which will kill the iron golems. So I'm just gonna make this a little bit taller, like so. Uh, for now, I'll probably make it all glass and go all the way up eventually, but we're gonna put lava here um, And they're three blocks tall so it will kill them and the drops will fall into here into the chest um, And I need to access the chest so I guess I can just break these And open it so it's pretty ugly, but we won't really be in here much um, And there's one so let's just kill them with our sword for now and Test out the hoppers. I can barely hit them. Stop moving. Come on. Oh my gosh, she's like in the corner. Wow, they take so many hits. This is a sharpness three iron sword. I, I mean, diamond sword, I think. Yep, so they all went in here. Hey, we got seven already. I guess this is pretty efficient. It's not like super good, but I mean, it's gonna work for the amount we need. Um, so I'm just gonna be right back after I get some lava. Okay, I'm back. I got four buckets of lava and another stack of glass so we can finish off this tube here. Uh, so let's go ahead. Oh, I, I didn't even realize another one spawned. Um, Sorry, buddy, but you're gonna die soon. Um, so let's go ahead and not waste glass this time. And build this up. Hey, let me let me place it, buddy. Okay, you die. Don't you touch me. Dang. I should probably count how many hits that takes. That's a lot. We need a better sword, that means. <laughs> We should get like sharpness 5, that'd be sweet, and maybe flame, that'd be a cool sword. Uh, is this enough? I think so. Almost there. Okay, um, just need to place these two. There we go. So the glass tube is all done. Um, now that this falls straight down into here, uh, let's see how many drops we have now. Eleven and two poppies. <laughs> okay, uh, let's put the lava in. Uh, so it's gonna go in right here. Uh, I just wanted four to make it look nice. You don't need four, you only need one. Uh, I gotta block this off quick. Ooh! That was close. <laughs> There we go. So we got four lava blocks in there. And I think it should kill them just fine. Uh, I kind of want to see one die. So I'll skip right to that. Okay, guys. Um, here's one dying. Yeah. That giant flame. That looks pretty cool. And we had 11. That's the only we have now. 15. And two more poppies. So... On average, I think it gives like three to four. Uh, that's just what I think, though. Um, so, that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. If you guys enjoyed me making this Iron Golem farm, please leave a rating, comment with your feedback, and subscribe for more content like this series and my Let's Build series. This has been Apple Orchard Thief, and goodbye.